What is going on Division 2 agents? This is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 build video. Now I know I've been gone for a while, but honestly the game hasn't really given us a whole lot to showcase with these build videos. There's been a lot of content creators basically doing recycled builds, which I guess is a good idea because there are a spike in new players to the game the last few months. But yeah, I just decided not to go that route. However, we did get something new, and actually this is my second time doing this video. The first time, I had quite a few interruptions, so I did do this whole video, but I had a lot of editing, editing to do. And three hours into my editing, my editing software just decided to crash and I completely lost everything. So instead of going through and doing all that editing again, I'm just gonna go ahead and redo the video and hopefully don't have as many distractions so I don't have a whole lot of editing to do. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this build video. That's enough for me talking. So yes, it is another Striker Build video, but this one is a little different than the ones that they have out there. Most of the Striker Builds that you see out there are the, with ARs, SMGs, shotguns. And I wanted to go ahead and utilize the Pestilence since the talent does go off of weapon damage. And as we know, Striker gives us a whole lot of extra weapon damage. So let's just dive right into it. Striker, go over all of the bonuses. Two-piece bonus plus 15% weapon handling. Three-piece bonus plus 15% rate of fire. And then the four-piece of Striker's Gamble. Weapon hits amplify. Total weapon damage by 0.5%, stacking up to 50 times. Two stacks are lost each second. This is the rework that they had on Striker. Especially when you're talking about console players, we really did not utilize this gear set very much because it used to be you lose stacks when you miss shots. So it was just hard to keep your full stack of striker up. But since they changed it to two stacks are lost each second, it's a lot easier now. So that's why you're seeing a lot of striker builds. Now with the chest piece, we do have the talent, press the advantage, increase max stacks for Striker's Gamble from 50 to 100. And the attributes I have on my mask, max armor, crit chance with the max crit chance mod, chest piece, max weapon damage, crit chance with a max crit chance mod, max armor and crit chance with my holster knee pads, max weapon damage and max critical hit damage, for my gloves, I'm using contractor gloves. Gives us plus 10% LMG damage for our one piece of ransom bonus. Max weapon damage, critical hit damage, and of course contractor gloves comes with the plus 8% damage to armor. And then the good old memento backpack. Max weapon damage, armor with a skill tier with a max critical hit damage mod. Talent kill confirmed. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provides both a short and long term buff, the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped in last 10 seconds. Plus 5% weapon damage, plus 10% bonus armor, plus 5% skill efficiency. For every trophy collected, gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regen for 300 seconds. And if you're new and you're not exactly sure what skill efficiency is, Basically, skill efficiency is every single skill attribute in the game. So 1% skill efficiency is equal to 1% skill haste, skill damage, skill duration, you know, all that good stuff. So we are going to be getting even, even up more weapon damage from the memento when we have full stacks. We will be at another 30% weapon damage. And of course, when we collect the trophy, we will gain another 20% because we have four red cores, which gives us 5% for each one every time we get a trophy. So another 50% when we get our full stacks from Memento on top of the 50% amplified damage that we get from Striker. And that's key. The amplified damage is multiplicative damage. So basically when we have a full stacks from our strikers and our memento, that's going to be an extra 100% weapon damage with 50% of that being amplified weapon damage. All right, so the guns that we have, obviously pestilence, max 
LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, and damage to armor with the talent Plague of the Outcast. Hits apply a debuff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, all stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy within 25 meters. So like I said, the, the tick that you get from the Plague of Outcast all has to do with the weapon damage. The more weapon damage you have, the bigger the tick is going to be. So let's go ahead and see what the tick is real fast. All right, so we're down here at the range. And for the, the shotgun that I have is a rock and roll. If you just have an ACS-12, that's fine. The main reason I have this shotgun is just to get my stacks up quick. You can get your stacks up extremely fast with this. And then I just switch the pestilence. So that's why I'm using that. So let's go ahead and get our stacks up. Okay. So probably, yeah, we're not going to see the full stacks on that one. So let's go here. All right, let's see if we can get our full stacks in. The pestilence. So 630. 630, 556, 550. And keep in mind, that's the ticks with the full stacks from Striker. I have no stacks from Memento right now. So you're going to be getting another 50% weapon damage that's going to make that tick even higher than that. So just with the Striker equipped, as you saw, that was 630 per tick. Basically 550 to 630 per tick. So that's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and go over the rest of the field real fast. Now for my talents, uh, or for my, now for my skills, I'm using a striker drone. And my skills are designed just to take attention off of us. So the striker drone is going to annoy the hell out of the NPCs. And actually when you get the full stacks of memento, you have that extra 30% skill efficiency which is going to give your striker even more damage. So it does hold its own and does some good damage for us, but at base value, it's at tier one, plus 20% striker damage, plus 70% health. The mods, 7.2 duration, 9.7 health, and 4.2 damage. Of course, we have the decoy, tier one, plus 15% duration, plus 50% health, plus 15% threat with the mods 7.5% health and 7.5% duration. So let's go ahead and go back and take a look at our specialization. So we are using the gunner. Killing enemies grant 10% armor. Every third reload is 50% faster, which is beautiful with the pestilence. Armor kits will repair 100% armor and grant 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. And you have the banshee post if you want to utilize that. Uh, supply line generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds. Party members recover 5%. 10% of weapon handling while not moving need to be motionless for one second. Plus 50% pulse resistance. And the rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for 5 seconds, giving us even more rate of fire on top of what Striker gives us. So that's a specialization. And the stats on the guns, I mean, it's not really a crit build but it has decent stats you know we're at 40 percent crit chance 81 percent critical hit damage 85 percent headshot damage 14 percent armor damage for the shotgun 45 percent crit chance 81 percent crit damage 65 percent headshot damage 18 percent armor damage and yeah that's the build i mean it's a fun build to run the gameplay that i have for whatever reason the audio messed up it has no audio so i'll just play some music during the gameplay so i did link in memorial for the gameplay which is a bit longer than american history so i wanted to try to do it as fast as possible so i was actually using this build kind of run and gunning type of play style it's really not a running gun build in my opinion but you play it however you want and honestly you can have a more armor on this because you'll still have plenty of weapon damage or if, you, if you're more of the weapon damage type, you can go down to 1.1 and you're, you'll still be fine. But yeah, just to save time doing Lincoln Memorial, I was trying to go as fast as possible. 
Now, I do have a, a really nice AR build with this. Only reason I didn't showcase this one is because there, there are a lot of build videos out there that has this. And this is, gives you more of the Division 1 feel of Striker because you get that extra armor region uh, from your Bellstone piece on top of the 3% you get from the Memento backpack. I mean, you're, you have a lot of healing with this build. And it just gives you that, that feeling that you have when you're on Division 1 that gives you that good healing when you're using it and getting your stacks up. And this is a really nice, uh, really nice AR build a lot of damage on this AR build but like I said there's so many content creators out there that's already done this build so I just wanted to do a little something different so hopefully you guys enjoy this build video let me know how you are running it if you are running a strikers build another thing that was new in this new update that we had was this chill out mask there are some decent build ideas ideas for this mask some content creators are not very impressed with it, but you know, there are different type of builds that you can utilize this mask in that I, that I may be, you know, coming out with. So anyway, that's all I've got today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And as always, my friends on YouTube, take it easy.